It turns out it was very stealthy for the radars of its time. Even the skins of this airplane were made out of crushed carbon and plywood to absorb radar energy. So they were, they were well into the concept of making airplanes invisible. We call that Generation Zero. a lot of off-the-shelf components in the airplane because they were prototypes. We had to make a lot of inventions. We had to make new things that had never been done before, like the exhaust system on the aft deck, like the intakes, like the bleed air system that was driving, protecting the uh, uh, supersonic shock in the inlets. I don't believe I'm at liberty to tell you. It was a very fast airplane. It's performance numbers. Well, I would say at least two times the speed of sound, maybe a little bit more. The only thing I can say is we have documented uh, numbers to show the super cruise number is very, very good. They said they super cruised. I don't know the true speed, um, but it had to be fast the way the YF-23 was shaped. Um, it was so sleek. It had to go fast. Fastest isn't the measure, best is, is the measure, and best is to do what it's supposed to do, win an air battle. And it, 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 that doesn't always go to the airplane that, like a rocket plane could go fast, but it'd be going somewhere, but it wouldn't be in an air battle. I have to just interject. It isn't very useful. Now, if you're going to super cruise, that's to get from one place to another, and you can do it for a fair amount of time, that's great. Most airplanes that, that operate above Mach 2 can't go anywhere. Yeah, there was an airplane landing on the runway in the opposite direction, but despite all of the practice, all of the briefing, all of the special procedures which were taken care of to uh, avoid that possibility. And, oh, by the way, the fact that it happened to be our own Roy Martin in a T-38. <laughs> one, uh, one of the early astronauts, the T-38, was used by the astronauts. They have a fleet of T-38s an airplane that we made. And uh, early in the astronaut program, one of the astronauts was flying somewhere in Texas and a snow goose penetrated the canopy and killed him instantly.